Hello and welcome to the DMS Sure SLX4 Wireless Microphone System Kit. Opening the main compartment of the carrying bag, you will find a Sure wireless transmitter, the Sure SLX4 wireless receiver, and an XLR to 1 4th inch audio cable. It is best to leave the receiver unit inside the foam padded carrying bag during use. Inside the front zippered compartment is an XLR to XLR audio cable as well as an opening to the bottom compartment which will allow the antennas on the receiver to get a better signal. It is important to leave this compartment open while the receiver is in use. Unzipping the bottom of the carrying bag will allow you to access the rear panel of the receiver as well as the accessory bag which contains the lapel mic, the power supply, the wireless receiver antennas, and four AA batteries for powering the wireless transmitter. To set up the system, place the receiver in a position where it can receive a clear wireless signal. Plug the power cord into the port on the back of the receiver marked Power. Remove the two wireless antennas from the accessory bag and connect them to the antenna ports on the back of the receiver. It does not matter which antenna attaches to which port, as long as they are both connected. Once the antennas are connected, Unzip the front compartment of the carrying bag and angle the antennas upward through the hole in the compartment. Finally, run the XLR audio cable from the balanced out port on the back of the receiver into your sound recorder or mixer. Next, remove the wireless transmitter from the main compartment and open the transmitter's battery compartment by squeezing the two tabs on the sides of the transmitter and pulling the hinge cover outwards. Insert two AA batteries as shown in the diagram inside the battery compartment. Remove the lapel microphone from its plastic packaging and carefully plug the larger end of the microphone cable into the wireless transmitter, making sure that the pins in the transmitter and the holes on the microphone cable line up correctly. Open the plastic container containing the wide screen and the lapel clip and attach them as needed to the other end of the microphone. At this point, you can power on the wireless receiver by pressing the power button on the front. Then turn on the wireless transmitter by pressing and holding the gray mute button on top of the transmitter. To synchronize the two, Open the battery cover on the transmitter and face it towards the front of the receiver. Then press the sync button on the front of the receiver. The receiver will transmit its frequency, group, and channel to the transmitter, and a green ready light should go green on the front of the receiver. At that point, you should also notice that the green audio lights on the left will light up according to the audio levels detected by the microphone. After that, you can close the battery compartment cover on the transmitter and use the clip on the back to attach the transmitter to a belt or other article of clothing for hands-free operation. The microphone itself can be attached to an article of clothing near the speaker's voice using the included lapel clip. As far as using the transmitter goes, the mute button on the top of the transmitter can be pressed once to temporarily unmute the microphone, for example, if you need to cough or sneeze suddenly, and then pressed again to unmute. The select button on the front of the transmitter can be used to change the group or channel that the transmitter is broadcasting on. But if you synchronize the transmitter with the receiver correctly, you will not need to do this. On the side of the transmitter is a small switch, which can be set to the normal mic setting, the zero setting, or a 10 dB setting. These settings allow you to change the volume that the transmitter is broadcasting at, which would make sense if you are trying to record different musical instruments along with vocals. To turn off the transmitter, simply hold down the mute button again until it turns off. When you are finished using the wireless microphone system, be sure to remove the batteries from the transmitter and replace them in the black accessory bag so that it doesn't drain the batteries while in storage. Please take time to make sure that all of the major components of the kit are functional and cosmetically undamaged before you check it out, as you will be liable for any damages found when you return it to the DMS lab.